am one of the more than 2,000 people who filed a complaint uh, first against Judge Sharon Killer in 2007. And uh, I was actually in UT, on UT campus two hours ago where uh, Shirin Abadi, the 2003 Nobel Peace Prize winner, was uh, talking. And uh, she was outraged to learn about the case of Judge Sharon Killer and that this kind of things still can go on, that the judge can refuse to accept the case just because it's 5 p.m. and she has to go home. And according to the charges filed by the Ethics Commission, uh, sh I think she had an appointment with a plumber at her house around the same time. So I'm wondering if that influenced her decision at all to do this. Uh, and uh, I mean, if we want to ask people to follow our uh, laws, I mean, we cannot ask our people to follow our laws when uh, we do not require our judges, especially the highest, uh, the highest criminal judge in the state, to do not follow the same rules. We have to uh, keep these judges to the highest standards. And I just wanted to give a quote from uh, her campaign back then when she was running for the court. In one of the, her campaigns, she said that I want to uh, represent the perspective of the prosecutor in the court. And I'm wondering if a judge that we want to uh, uh, make a fair decision and look at every case equally, I mean, is that the person that says before and getting on the court that she's going to uh, vote in favor of uh, prosecutors rather than the others? And the same judge, Judge Sharon Killer, in a case, she has voted that it is okay for a death row inmate uh, to get executed even though his lawyer slipped in the court, his lawyer showed up trying to the court, even though the lawyers fell to file their appeals at the same time. And at the same time, she's asking the state to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, for her legal fees because she says if she doesn't get the money she cannot afford, she's not going to get a fair trial. And I'm wondering how many people do you think get hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees to represent them. So, and uh, the fact is that she can afford to pay for all these fees herself. And uh, the recent news came out last week or two weeks ago that she had actually uh, failed to file proper financial uh, uh, reports uh, with the commission. She has much more, uh, she owns much more property that she claimed to have. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to go into details of the case because everyone, uh, I'll let legal scholars to do that, but uh, just to point, I think, to one of the questions that was asked why the Supreme Court uh, had denied the case. I don't think the Supreme Court, I think the reason the Supreme Court denied uh, Michael Richard's appeal was because the Court of Criminal Appeals did not make a ruling in that case. And the reason they denied it uh, I believe was because the lower court did not make a decision, so they refused to accept Michael Richard's case at that time. And I think that's what happened. If the CCA had ruled in favor of Michael Richard, it would not have been executed. And if they had denied Michael Richard's, uh, if they had denied this appeal, then it would have gone to Supreme Court, and they would have probably stayed the execution because they did. They had stayed another execution, I believe, in the same day in another state. So basically certain that they would have a state Michael Richard's execution. Even one of the other Republican uh, judges in the same court, uh, Tom Price, in, uh, her, during the re-election campaign primaries, he called Judge Sharon Killer uh, a national, he said that Judge Sharon Killer had, had made Texas a national laughing stock because of all her outrageous ruling and decisions that she wise. And I don't think we have to be a national laughing stock. I think uh, by this uh, committee, by voting in favor of uh, Representative Bornholm's resolution, you can make a statement that Texas is not a national or a laughing stock, and we can be better than this. Uh, yeah, we should have a judicial. Sure. I'm just trying to remember. I, was Tom Price her opponent? Yes, she was her opponent during the Republican primary. He said primary. something bad about him. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, basically, I mean, all I have to say is that the justice should not be a 9 a.m. to a 5 p.m. thing. It should be a thing that everybody <coughs> can get a fair chance. Even those who we deem to be the worst of the world, they still deserve to get a fair hearing in our criminal justice system. Any questions? Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. I agree with you.
ask you, do you happen to know the, the previous two witnesses, did, do you happen to know whether or not the uh, lawyer or the uh, accused knew that Justice Johnson was the quote on duty justice? I don't believe they knew about that. I think it was revealed after Michael Richard was executed. And when one of the reporters uh, probably asked an American statesman that I contact them and then that was when uh, Judge Johnson found out about uh, uh, the case. She didn't even know that Michael Richard's lawyers had sent an appeal until it was too late. That's what I think I have, but that might be wrong. You're not, you're not sure if the, if the lawyer knew that the judge, judge Justice Johnson... Yeah, I, I don't think they knew, but uh, I'm not certain. This is, but you seem to indicate that if the the request for the stay had been filed, the Court of Criminal Appeals might have granted the stay. But my understanding is all, all the lawyers involved agree that the, the Court of Appeals would, the Court of Criminal Appeals would have denied the request for the stay. Yeah. Based on the precedent and the yes, they would have denied the stay. And I think if they denied the stay, it would have officially the lawyers have, should have been able to file the appeal with the Supreme Court. And I think the Supreme Court did not accept the case based not on the merits of the case, but just because the lower court did not make a decision. And I think they did not have the jurisdiction to hear Michael Bouchard's case. And also, my understanding is that they, they did have time to 